Hi, it's me, Mr. Patrick, and today I want to show you how we did our Christmas craft this year for 2018. Now, some of you weren't able to make the craft because you were in school, and some of you maybe could, but you want to make more. So I wanted to make the video to show you how we did it as a reminder, and then you can make all the snowmen you want at home. Okay? So for this craft, you're going to need a box, a clothespin, and you need to make sure it's painted white, a little bitty pom-pom ball, a piece of yarn. I have glue dots, but you can use tape or regular glue if that'll help if that's what you have around. A Sharpie or special pen, a ruler, and some scissors. Now I've already painted my clothes pins, so they're all white all the way around. You can see inside they're not, but that's okay. They don't have to be. Now you wanna take your box and you'll put your clothes pin on the box and that will make it easy to be able to work with it. The first step is we want to take our special pin and we want to draw. I'm going to try to do it backwards so you can see. If you have it upside down like this, you want to draw two eyes. They're going to be down here. And then in the middle for the nose. Okay. And the nose we're going to keep open because that's where we're going to put our special pom-pom nose. And then you're going to want to do down farther a little smiley face so you can have room for the pom-pom. See, because it's going to go on just like that. Okay? All right. And if you want, you can add some buttons down his way there. That'll look real good. Okay, now we'll put that aside. Now the next step is to measure out how much yarn you're going to need for the scarf. So we'll take our ruler and we want to measure out seven inches, okay? So we'll take the yarn, I'll try to hold it up here, we'll take the yarn and we'll find seven inches, okay? Looks like seven inches is going to be right about here on the seven. Okay, so once we know where we need to, we're going to take our scissors very carefully, get help if you need it, and we're going to cut on the piece of yarn so we have about a seven inch piece of yarn, okay? And then you can take the rest and just put it off to the side for now. So now that we have our yarn, or our scarf, the length we need it, we can tie it on to the snowman. Now, tying it onto the snowman is gonna be kinda hard, but I've made a special video that I'm gonna show you to help show you how we need to tie it onto the snowman's neck, okay? All right, here we go, let me get it ready. Once you have your string cut, you're going to take it, and you're going to bring it around the back of the snowman, and you're going to find a little groove kind of right there, and you're going to set it inside. Now, you need to take this hand, your right hand, and fold over like that, so it's making an X. And then you're going to take your right hand again, and you're going to put this string that's in that hand through the hole in the back on the top of the X and bring it around. And now there's like a little circle in the middle of the X. And you're going to take both hands and you're going to pull. All right. And now you can do it one more time. Right hand takes it over and the right hand also takes this one now that it's crossed and puts it through the back hole, bringing it through. And pull. And there's your scarf. If it's too 
too long, you can cut off the different ends. Okay, and now that you've got your scarf on, flip it around and kind of straighten it out so it sits perfect. Maybe you need to tie it a little bit tighter, pull on it, and now it'll sit down just like that. We're almost finished, aren't we? Okay, now the next step is going to be to take some glue or tape, or if you have them at home, like I've got here, a glue dot, and you're gonna roll or put the glue right where under where you put your nose, okay? So right in between the mouth and the eyes. All right, here we go. Let's do that. Let's get it started. Okay, I got mine a little high, but that's okay. Because with the glue dot, we can roll it down. Okay, and once you've got your glue dot or your glue or your tape ready, you want to lay your snowman flat like this. And then you're going to take your pom-pom and you're going to carefully position it. And you're going to push down. And you can use two fingers if you need to, to make the pressure better. But you want to push for 30 seconds. Uh-oh. <laughs> Look at what happened to my snowman. His nose was so big it covered his mouth. But that's okay. Because all we have to do, now that his nose is on, is we can go back and fix it. Alright. So now we can go under the nose with his mouth, and we can make a new mouth. I think I'm going to give mine some eyebrows too. He's a happy snowman. And there you go. There's your snowman. Capable of attaching to poles or lamps or all kinds of different places to decorate. Now the last step, and this one's very important, on the back of your snowman, where there's lots of white but nothing there, you should write your name. So I'm gonna write Mr. Patrick and then I'm going to write two zero one eight and for the two zero one eight if you need it you can have your mom or dad or grandma or grandpa help you with that. So I'll show you what it looks like. See, now it says Mr. Patrick 2018. Okay, so 2018 is the year it is right now. It's the Christmas year. And Mr. Patrick's my name. So now, whenever you put your Christmas stuff away and get it back out, you'll have your snowman ready to put up. And you'll be able to remember when you made it. And it's going to be really cool when you get older and you see all the cool things you made. I hope you like this craft and I hope that you make some more snowmen for your tree or decorations. Bye!